Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, September, I believe this is the 16th, uh, 2024. And uh, I just wanted to come to you this morning with some uh, thoughts about um, our country and what's going on in the country. Um, the season we're entering into, we're, you know, we're less than two months away from a presidential election. And we have just seen all kinds of craziness in this last couple months. We've seen uh, now two attempts on um, President, former President Trump's life. Uh, we've seen uh, Joe Biden uh, bow out of the race for the Democrats. We've seen Kamala Harris step forward. All these things you know very well. And if you're on social media or even watching your television, uh, you're seeing all kinds of mixed messages and I'm sure you're trying to figure out what, what do we do? How, how do we get out of this mess we're in? Is it gonna get worse before it gets better? Um, I'm not gonna come to you and pretend to have the answers because I don't. But I will tell you a few things that are on my mind and these are just my, uh, what I take from our current circumstances. So, one of the things I'm gonna encourage you to do as much as possible uh, going into this election is to de-plug, unplug as much as possible from television and from social media. Um, the world's gonna keep on spinning with or without your attention. You know, I, I was thinking uh, about death recently because uh, I've lost some people that I care about and uh, there are others that probably don't have very much longer to live. And I started reflecting on, you know, with every person that has passed away that I've known recently, the world just kept on turning. <laughs> uh, almost unnoticing uh, by the vast majority of people didn't even notice these people ever lived or that they died. The world just doesn't care. And... I think the most important thing that you can do for yourself, your sanity, uh, for this country, uh, for your friends, for your family, every, everybody involved, is to unplug. Uh, let the let the media say what the media is going to say. You know, I've I've been in social media since I think around 2008, and one of the things I've learned is that. You're not going to change anybody or not in very many people's minds. Most people's minds are already made up. One of the other things that you may or may not realize is that media is being used to manipulate you. So uh, a lot of research goes into this by very smart people who know how the human brain works and they feed you what they want you to be fed and to elicit a response from you. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go vote. Clearly, I believe that you should vote. I believe that you should vote for the candidate you think will do the best job. Uh, I would say do your, do your research, but not online. You know, let's go old school with it. Read a newspaper, and even with that, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Look at their record. Look at what they've done, and uh, make up your mind from there. So I'm not here to sway you one way or the other. It's pointless anyway. What I am saying, if you want peace of mind, realize most of the world doesn't even know you exist. Anything you say or do online is not gonna make much of a dent, if any, in anyone else's life, including this video I'm sharing right now. You know, most people don't watch a video more than three seconds before they scroll to the next one. So don't, don't fool yourself into thinking you're more than more important than you are and that you have to be plugged in and you have to be out there saying something. Uh, it's, it's all a, uh, it's all for show. It's, it's fake. Uh, it doesn't have any lasting impact. You know what you can put a lasting impact on your own life. Focus on what's important to you. Focus on building, uh, yourself up, taking care of your health, taking care of your finances, taking care of your family, loving those people who love you, love even the people that don't love you, and uh, be a person that 
operates from a place of joy instead of just always worried about what's the next boogeyman out there that's going to get us all or where that might lead. Yes, this does sound like sticking your head in the sand. And, uh, you know, one way or the other, you're going to do it. Whether you, you choose to do it on your own or life takes your life away from you, uh, you're going to go under the dirt, under the sand. Um, so why not get an early start on it while you're, you're still here and concentrate on those things that are really going to make a difference. Love yourself, love people. If you're a person of faith, love your God, serve your God, serve your country in ways that you can, you know, be there in your community to help with outreach programs to those who have less than you do. Um, spread joy um, and just forget about the all the junk that's being spoon fed to you on social media and on the TV. I don't know if you get anything out of this. I don't know if this is going to make a hill of beans difference to anybody, but it's just food for thought. God bless you and have a great day.